What's up, guys, and welcome back. I don't know if you're anything like me, but I am a sucker for X-Men. Uh, animated series just fueled my childhood. The comics are just fire. So naturally, I am pumped as the Marvel Snap season pass for Nimrod has officially started. Now, if you don't know him, Nimrod might look like a crossbreed of like Jigglypuff and Machamp, but don't let the cute pink color fool you. This guy beat the hell out of some of the biggest names in Marvel. So on today's video, we're going to be playing Snap or Pass with this month's season pass, breaking it down by the numbers and determining if it's worth buying for you. We'll be breaking down the new card, my first impressions, on top of the new cards coming this month, which is more important than usual because one, the cards are banger, but two, Marvel Snap has addressed ways to make these new cards more exciting, and I expect that to drop this month. And then finally, we're going to be talking about a huge change to the way that ranks work and climbing the ladder this season. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Let's kick things off with the free version of the season pass, and they made some changes last month, and things look to be the same. Some great resources by just playing the game. You're going to get 300 gold, 2300 credits, 85 boosters, a mystery variant that will probably end up being something like this. And if you're lucky, maybe something like this, uh, but you get it. It's a free variant on top of a card back and a title. So as always, the value is there for the free pass, but let's talk about the paid one. Now you're going to have two options. And for me personally, I am now leaning towards the more expensive one because I, maybe I'm just getting lucky. This is the chances of what you'll get from the season caches once you've completed the season pass. And I actually got some pretty sick variants this time around. Definitely feel free to ignore it. But if you do play like a metric ton of snap, it might be worth it. Or if again, you spend already. But as far as the paid version of the season pass, you'll be getting an additional 900 gold, 300 credits, 230 boosters, three avatars. You'll be getting the card Nimrod, which we'll talk about in a second six variants one card back and two titles so we have to take a second just to glorify the variants that you're getting this season pretty freaking sick wolverine in the rain six sentinel i mean come on and then the card back man for x-men is going to be awesome i will never be changing mine from the golden infinite one if you guys are going for that this is what you'll get you'll get the nice beautiful golden back here uh, but i want to talk about quickly the paid season pass when it came to modok if you didn't play discard there was really no reason to get them the paid version, you'll get good resources. If you spend money on the game, then it's probably a good idea to get it. But if you kind of go back and forth and you don't get every season pass, this one is more archetype specific opposed to like Zabu or Silver Surfer. So don't feel stressed to pass this if you don't play Destroy and you have no intentions of trying to make Nimrod work. But let's go ahead and dive into the card. I think he's actually pretty dang good and I'm excited to try him out myself. So Nimrod is going to be a five energy, five power card. And when this card is destroyed, he's going to add a copy to each other location. Now notice the word copy is huge because anything that you do to affect Nimrod is going to spread both positive and negative usually resulting in the positive with cards like Sherry and Forge. So my thoughts on the Swole Kirby. First of all, if you're in pool one or two, great card. I mean, Destroy needs a lot of help in the early pool. So this is a definite buy there. If you're in the late game, there is cards that you can use outside of them. But I think he's going to add a lot to Galactus players. If you have Sherry, if you enjoy Ramp and Sandman's new buff, I think Nimrod is going to find a ton of homes. I'll be putting a ton of decks together. If you guys want to look for that, I'll be posting that early in the morning. Uh, but yeah, I think Nimrod is going to open up the destroy archetype even further. And anytime a card can split and make copies, usually they're pretty damn good. So I think Nimrod is going to have a lot of play. Now, naturally, a lot of the cards you guys already have in the pools for free are going to work and synergize with Nimrod, just cheap destroy options in general. However, if you're looking for some other cards that you can buy in the token shop to complement them, obviously, guys, Arnim Zola is going to be a perfect fit for Nimrod. Electro or any ramp cards like Wave and Psylocke, you'll probably need because he does have that five cost value to him and be a bit clunky to play him at times. Galactus is super expensive, but if you are already planning on getting him, he's a no brainer. He's going to have great synergy with the card. But looking at the destroy options, guys, Venom, Death, these are easy token unlocks. And Null is going to be both a huge counter and a card that will synergize with Nimrod in the first couple of weeks. So definitely suggest picking him up if you're on the fence. Again, tons of theory crafting here. I think he's going to be great to fit into just a base destroy deck, but also his own unique deck builds. Now, if we want to jump into the new cards coming this month, guys, they look insane. We start with Kitty Pride. That might be one of the best new cards that we have seen in a long while. You're going to be able to hop Kitty Pride back to your hand, scaling up her power, scaling up cards like Angela and Bishop. Bounce decks might get crazy. We'll have to see how she works with the Collector. But I think we might get a card that is going to rival Sunspot in some ways. 
We're going to have to see how she works and how she plays. But on paper, she looks cracked. And I hope by the time she comes out, there's an easier way to get these cards because damn, she looks good. On top of that, we also have Teenage Warhead. Negasonic is going to be probably one of the new premier tech cards. She's going to have great synergy with things like Null, but she's going to control turn five and six. She's kind of like a rickety bridge location by herself, and you can just blow up any card and protect a lane from really anything happening on the last turns of the game. I think she's going to also pair up with control decks and naturally it's going to be a card that can fit into most decks. Now, Ronin enjoyers, disruptors rejoice. We have master mold, a new insane kind of toxic card, a 2-2 who will be giving your opponent two sentinels, just clogging their hand. This makes Ronin better. It makes Darkhawk better. And if you want to kind of play against it, you'll have to have maybe a Devil Dinosaur deck. Or I can see Discard benefiting from having the Sentinels as well. Master Mold is going to add a lot to just some crazy toxicity. And I think he'll be a lot of fun. Now, lastly, let's talk about the giant rank changes. They've noticed that matchmaking needs a little bit of love. And obviously, uh, it, it does. And they are just getting started, apparently. They've made some changes to the way that you can climb, and it's going to make getting infinite a whole lot more easy. Essentially, guys, when you make it to a new tier for the first time, say 50 or 60, instead of getting boosted to 51, you'll be now boosted to 55. Or if you hit 90, you'll be 95. And this is going to make the climb a whole lot more easy, and, and I want to see how it plays out. So overall, is it worth it should you get this month's season pass? I do think Nimrod has a good amount of potential. Uh, if you're on the fence, I, I would wait a couple of days and see how he does in the meta. I don't think he'll be meta defining, but he will be making some good decks even better. And again, I think he's great for pool one and pool two. And then if you're in pool three and you already have Arnhem and death, I think he's a pretty obvious purchase as well. But if you don't play destroy or you already have a deck that's working for you guys, I would pass it. Uh, I think people that passed on Modoc definitely don't regret it, right? Like, uh, Modoc had a good one week run and then he's kind of extinct from the ladder. Now it's been tradition for a while. We've been doing it since before 10,000 subs. Now we're almost at 70,000 subs. For all the subscribers of the channel, we do a giveaway each and every season pass. All you have to do is like the video and comment down below the best X-Men. Doesn't have to be in Marvel Snap, just period. I'm a big X-Men fan and I want to see what you guys say. I'll be picking the winners about 24 hours from now. Again, guys, if you want to support, be sure to subscribe and until the next one, Happy snapping.